From large sinkholes in the Arctic seafloor to a new species of frogs discovered in Vietnam. These are some of the stories that we talk about on this episode of Scientifix. I am Mohana Basu and every week on The Prince Scientifix, I take you through some of the top science stories of the week from across the globe. In a first, scientists have documented how the thawing of permafrost submerged underwater at the edge of the Arctic Ocean is causing the seafloor to collapse. The study shows that while deep sinkholes have formed in some areas, ice-filled hills called pingos have risen from the seafloor. Unstable land negatively impacts important Arctic infrastructure such as roads, train tracks, buildings and airports. This infrastructure is then expensive to repair and the impact and costs are expected to continue increasing. While the degradation of terrestrial Arctic permafrost is attributed in part to increases in the mean annual temperature from human-driven climate change, the changes the research team has documented on the seafloor is associated with submarine permafrost derived from much older, slower climatic shifts related to our emergence from the last ice age. Similar changes appear to have been happening along the seaward edge of the former permafrost for thousands of years. This is the first time that researchers have been able to deploy technology to see changes happening offshore in the Arctic. The data shows that the phenomenon is not a result of an ocean warming trend, rather being driven by heat carried in slow-moving groundwater systems. Meanwhile, researchers have studied two massive blob-like structures roughly on opposite sides of the planet that greatly influence the continental changes in topography, gravity, surface volcanism and plate motion. Earth is composed of several layers, a thin outer crust, a thick viscous mantle, a fluid outer core and a solid inner core. Within the mantle, there are two blobs formerly referred to as the large low shear velocity provinces, each of which is a size of a continent and 100 times taller than Mount Everest. One is under the African continent, while the other is under the Pacific Ocean. Using instruments that measure seismic waves, scientists know that these two blobs have complicated shapes and structures, but despite their prominent features, little is known about why the blobs exist or what led to their odd shapes. A team from Arizona State University set out to learn more about these two blobs using geodynamic modeling and analysis of published seismic studies. Through their research, they were able to determine the maximum heights that the blobs reach and how the volume and density of the blobs as well as the surrounding viscosity in the mantle might control their height. The team found that the blob under the African continent is about 1000 kilometers higher than the blob under the Pacific Ocean. The blob under African continent is also most likely less dense and therefore less stable than the one under the Pacific Ocean. These findings may fundamentally change the way scientists think about the deep mantle processes and how they can affect the surface of the Earth. Also this week, researchers have recovered a freshly fallen meteorite after pinpointing its location using a drone to collect footage of the landscape, which is then scanned using artificial intelligence. The new method has the potential to greatly increase the number of recovered meteorites, particularly those observed as they fall through the atmosphere. A camera-fitted drone flies over and collects images of the fall zone, which are then transferred to a computer, where an algorithm scans each image for meteorites and features that resemble them. Traditionally, meteorite searches involve a group of people walking over a large predicted impact area. 
the new method requires only about one-tenth the amount of labor and time and has a much higher likely success rate. Also this week, a new species of saber-toothed carnivorous mammal has been discovered in Southern California by a team of scientists from University of Arizona and the San Diego Natural History Museum. The fossil was housed in the San Diego Natural History Museum's paleontology collection and offers a window into what the Earth was like during the Eocene period more than 40 million years ago. This specimen includes a lower jaw and well-preserved teeth, giving new information about the behavior and evolution of some of the first mammals to have exclusively meat-based diets. The ability to eat an all-meat diet isn't uncommon today, but 42 million years ago, mammals were only just figuring out how to survive on meat alone. One big advance in evolution was to evolve specialized teeth for slicing flesh which is present in this fossil. This early meat-eating predator is part of a mysterious group of animals called Machuroidines. Now completely extinct, they were not closely related to today's living carnivores. The predator was about the size of a bobcat, but with a downturned bony chin to protect its long upper saber teeth. It would have been a powerful and relatively new kind of hunter. Meanwhile, an international team of researchers has identified a new species of the tree frog genus Theoloderma from northeastern Vietnam. Theoloderma is a poorly understood group of tree frogs because they are very hard to track. The genus has at least 26 known species distributed throughout South Asia, southern China and northeastern India. Vietnam has more Theloderma species than any other country, with a total of 16 species recorded to date. The discovery of an additional species of Theloderma in Vietnam suggests that the current species richness of the genus remains underestimated. The new species was discovered in June 2020. It has been named Theloderma koi and was recorded at elevations between 1,320 and 1,750 meters above sea level. That's all for this week. I am Mohana Basu, Special Correspondent at The Print. If you like our work, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.